Thank you for viewing this Platinum Pay Express training video. Over the next few minutes, I will show you how easy it is to process your payroll and provide you the knowledge you need to get up and running quickly. So please enjoy the training and thank you for choosing Platinum Pay Express. Browse to Platinum Pay Express's login page. If you are a new user and were sent an activation code, click on the Register as New User link toward the bottom of the screen. Otherwise, using your company ID, employee ID, username, and password, you can securely log in to Platinum Pay Express. If you have forgotten your password, click on the Forgot Password link, and you will be prompted with an alternative way to identify yourself and change your password. Once you have logged into Platinum Pay Express, you have an easy to navigate system of tabs and subtabs. Your dashboard gives you all your time sensitive information in one place. Whenever there are notices regarding Platinum Pay Express or related services, they will be posted in the Notices panel. Here you will find release notes, new features, important dates and deadlines, and scheduled maintenance periods. The Common Tasks panel is where you can find shortcuts to some of your frequently visited tasks. The first two links will help manage your payroll. You may start a new payroll or go back to an existing payroll in progress. Next is quick access to adding a new employee or getting access to several of our help resources. The Reminders panel helps to keep track of any outstanding tasks or reminders in regards to managing your payroll or employees. It is kept private and out of your Outlook inbox, which may be viewed by others. Clicking on Show All Reminders takes you to the Reminders page, where you can browse, sort, filter, and edit all your reminders. Recent reports are where you can find the latest reports processed for your company. They can be payroll reports, custom requested reports, or your quarter and year-end reports. Clicking on Show All Reports displays your entire report library. From the Reports tab, you have instant access to all your reports organized in easy-to-find tabs. Each tab can be sorted and filtered to help you find just the report you need. The All Reports tab displays all reports where the Payroll tab just shows reports that were created from processing payroll. The Period End Reports are all your quarter-end and year-end summaries and tax forms. The Distributed tabs show W-2s and pay stubs that have been posted to Employees EAC, or Employee Access Center, so you can see exactly what your employees are seeing. Once you click on the Employee tab, you get a list to access all your employees' data. You can choose a visual card view or the more compact list view. You can also sort, filter, and search for employees by many fields. Click on any one to view more details or to make changes to that employee record. On the Personal tab, you can find all their demographic data. Click the Edit Information link to edit any panel you wish. Click Upload to upload a new photo for the employee and click Save to save any changes you have made to this panel. As you make changes, you get confirmation messages and any warning messages at the top of the screen. In the Status panel, you can set the employee's type, for example, regular or contract, along with their status, start date, and other payroll-centric fields. Choose a division, and the department field is limited to just departments in that division. To terminate an employee, just click on the Change Term Date button. In the Pay panel, you can provide the employees three primary rates, though only one is required for hourly employees, and salary. If you need more rates than three, ask your payroll specialist for more details. If you are using one of our integrated time and labor systems and you want this employee to be included in the time and labor module, click the Include in Time and Labor checkbox. If you would like to populate payroll with default hours each pay period for ease of data entry, Enter the employee's default hours. If you are tracking accruals, select an accrual plan for the employee. If you are tracking paid time off accruals, up-to-date details for sick, vacation, and personal time are available, displaying earned, used, and available balances. You can create reminders specific to an employee in the Reminders panel, or Notes in the Notes panel. Notes can be text or HTML. 
so you can easily paste information in from documents or emails and retain formatting. Expiration dates will automatically hide expired notes. The Payroll Info sub-tab provides access to more payroll detailed information. The Scheduled Earnings panel allows you to schedule an unlimited amount of any type of pay outside of the standard hourly wage or salary. Common examples are things like car or phone allowances. By clicking the information icon at the end of the row, you can see more details about the scheduled earning, or click Edit to edit the details. To add a new scheduled earning, click Add, choose an earning code, and enter the flat amount to be paid or rate to be paid at. This schedule earning will follow the default earning schedule that was created at implementation time. For custom schedules, contact your payroll specialist. The Schedule Deductions panel works very similar to the Schedule Earnings tab, but is for deductions. Again, you can have an unlimited amount of deductions. Deductions can also have effective dates to allow for advanced scheduling. To change the amount of an existing deduction, click on Calendar icon to schedule the change. Add a new amount to reflect the change you want. When adding new amounts, they will be effective after the start date. To stop this deduction after a predetermined time, Enter that date in the date. To have the deduction continuous, leave the end date blank. Click the information icon at the end of the row to see more details about the deduction. To add a new deduction, click Add New Deduction. Select the deduction code, calculation, and then click Save. Once it is saved, you can click on the calendar icon to enter the first date range for the deduction. The employee can spread their direct deposit between two different bank accounts. Just enter the information needed. A percent split allows you to put all or partial amount. 100% would be all of the net pay into one account, and 50% would be half into one account. To set up all the net pay to go to one account, give the first account a split method of percent split and amount of 100. To put $100 into a savings account and the rest into checking, Give the first account an account type of savings and a split type of flat, and make the amount $100. Then, make the second account an account type of checking and a split type of percentage. The second account is based on what is left over after the first account has been transacted. So, put 100% in the amount field for the second account to put 100% of what is left over in net pay after the first $100 went to savings. Be sure to click Save to save your changes. If you have any questions, please contact your payroll specialist. If you are using one of our integrated time and labor systems, choose the system to fill in any time and labor specific fields. Provide the employee's W-4 status information in the Federal Taxes panel. For extra and fixed federal withholding, enter a decimal for a percent amount or a whole number for a flat amount. If you are in a state with state withholding, fill in the appropriate state W-4 information. For extra and fixed state withholding, enter a decimal for a percent amount or a whole number for a flat amount. Be sure to click the Save Changes button to save state tax changes. If you need to schedule local taxes, you have five position allocations per pay line on each paycheck for local taxation. These can be numbered position one through five, and position zero will only show up if you designate it at payroll entry. Then enter the local tax W-4 information needed. Under the Additional Field sub-tab, you can schedule memos. Memos are items you would like to show on a pay stub, but not a just gross or net pay. The most common memo is a 401k match. User-defined fields gives you 10 fields to track any additional information you would like, specific to your employees or your business. The Custom Fields panel gives you access to several custom features, which your payroll specialist can help you with as the needs arise. 
Employee Access is where you can view and modify what access your employees have to the Employee Access Center. Here, they can receive their pay stubs and W-2s online. And lastly, in the Pay History sub-tab, you get a graphical view of an employee pay history, with the details below in an easy-to-read table. To switch another employee, use the Employee Pick List, or go back to the All Employees sub-tab. The easiest way to run a payroll is with a one-step payroll. If your payroll is routine and you have set up employees with salaries, scheduled earnings, and or default hours enough where no editing is needed, just click the Start One-Step Payroll button and your payroll processes instantly with just one click. If you would like to edit the payroll grid before it is submitted, choose the Start Payroll button instead of the One-Step Payroll. This will provide you with a power grid that is customized to your specific needs to make data entry fast and easy. The power grid is pre-populated with your employees and their payroll defaults. You can then choose which one should be paid by check or unchecking the pay check box. If you have created any special messages for the employee regarding payroll, they will show up as you click on them. Notes with high priority will be denoted with red exclamation marks. You can navigate data entry in the Power Grid with your arrow keys, just as you do in your favorite spreadsheet. Earning columns are in green and deduction columns are in red if you have other scheduled earnings that are not set to default. To manage rows, click on the blue information button on the left to get the Add New Row, Delete Row, and Add New Row for this employee functions. To turn off Direct Deposit, just uncheck the Direct Deposit checkbox on the right end. To view column totals, click the Refresh Totals button on the top left. Once you have completed payroll entry, just click the Process Payroll button to view your gross to net totals before submitting your payroll. If you have any exceptions, you will be prompted to correct them before submitting payroll. Now just review your totals and submit your payroll. If you see a discrepancy, click Back to Power Grid to go back and re-edit the Power Grid. If you're ready to submit payroll, do so by choosing the Best Submit option. Submit with the Process My Payroll option will send your payroll direct to Process and will be your quickest option. But if you need further assistance prior to submitting your payroll, you can submit your payroll with special instructions for your payroll specialist. Or you can have your payroll specialist contact you once you submit it for processing to make any adjustments prior to posting your payroll. If you are not ready to submit, you can also click Save and Exit and come back later to continue. Once your payroll is posted and reports are created, they will be available in the Report Library and in the Recent Reports panel on the Dashboard. Thank you for viewing this Platinum Pay Express training video.